Hi, this is Cindy from Freeze Babies Fiber Frolic. I'm coming to you from Central Florida, where it was a good, uh, beautiful weather. It was in the low 80s, not not a lot of humidity. So um, I didn't get out in it much. We went running around, running errands today. Um, this is day four, or December 4th, and of course, Tira has to get in on it. Um, December 4th, for my swap scrap swap with Sherry from Sherry's Bag of Holding. So I uh, gave four. Let me go ahead and pull it out. Ooh, cool. All right. There's some coffee in here. Ooh, mint chocolate fa flavored coffee. And it's Andy's. Remember Andy's the little dessert mint or dinner mints used to get. I think they still make them. And then it's got a really pretty gold yarn in it. And then some candy. I'm giving the candy for to Sai. So coffee's going into the coffee bin. I am, I think what I'm gonna do, um, I might start out another block with that. It's a bigger piece. So this is what I got so far. I should weave in my ends. Um, and I think I'm going to use black for the last row. I was going to use gray in it too, but I think what I'll do is just continue what I'm doing. I'll do the first two rows based on my scraps here as I go along. We'll see. Um, I have some of these scraps. I have plenty left to do a third row, but, um, I'm going to look at the pattern. I might, I might do the... The, the third row is kind of like the flower petals. And then the fourth row is like a single crochet. So I might do the single crochets in gray to make them consistent. And then the, the final row will be black. And that black I can, you know, I'll sew them together with. Um, I'm going to see how many squares I have by, or the hexagons I have by the end of the month. And depending on um, the size, I might continue using my scraps I'm my plan is to make it as a blanket for the uh, foggy creek camp I'm still working on my second blanket I'm so tempted to start another one but I with wait I've got so many blankets going so I'm gonna just finish the, the Jacob's ladder one I'm doing um, I also have some blocks uh, from the year before last T Doddles I did her granny square along I think I got most of them done and I was doing two of each one so I probably will have if I have that figured out right I gotta find where I left the blocks I know where the yarn is and um I think I'm gonna be able to make at least two blankets out of that um my no Tira quit you can see your whiskers my whip of the day I was gonna show you is the fall cuddler chunky blanket it's easy knitting pattern. I think this was started as a, a as a cow by um, Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming, and I don't know if anybody else finished anybody finished it. I know um, Jazz um, Jaxie from Jax's cre Creative, whatever. Um, and this is how far I've gotten. I'm using anniversary cakes, and I think this color is great. You know, and I don't remember which is the back and which is the front of this. I, I know which is the back because I have um, things on it. But either side is great because this side, the um, the front has got the pearls in it. And if you flip it around here, the back has got the stock in it. So, I mean, you could go either way, way right now. So, I'm in part two right now. I've got plenty of this yarn. I would think that'll be enough to um, make the, I've got the um, anniversary cakes. I've got plenty of this color, but I don't think I'm going to need more than one. So it's so freaking soft. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this. I was going to give it to my sister. She's making herself a, a blanket. So I'll see. I might still send it to her. Ugh. Anyhow, I thought I would show you one of my other whips. I've got a bunch of them sitting here under the table. Um, yeah, my next blanket I wanted to make is a 
um, either a corner to corner or a Apache's Tears. I want to do a variation on the Apache's Tears. Um, traditionally, it's single crochets and double crochets. Um, let's see. Uh, my doll. I'm going to show you my doll of the day. I figure I might as well do that. I'll do it at the end so people want to cut out. They can. This is Poppy. She's one of my favorites. She was my first um, reborn, actual reborn doll that was made from a kit. Now, I got her used. I didn't even know what kit she was because I don't have any um, COA with her, a um, certificate of authenticity. But I have since found out she's a Jake kit. And I do have another of the same kit that's a, her twin brother. It's interesting to see the different um, artists, how they finish up her dolls. Anyway, she's pretty heavy. She's probably about six pounds. But I, I just adore her. She's um, very cute. And she's a redhead. So, um, anyways, that's all I got today. Thank you, Sherry from Sherry's Bag of Holding for doing this swap with me. I'm having fun. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.